we're in the gym, you guys. I'm doing some foam rolling here. Uh, on the screen right here and foam rolling is really great if you want to release some muscle tension uh, release some lactic acid if you're feeling tight um, I would recommend if you have time to foam roll and stretch before and after your uh, workouts <clears throat> right here I am wearing the a7 joggers they're available on a7 site right now and um, yeah, you can use my code A7Andre for 10% off, and uh, I'm just going to have this time lapse right here of us warming up. So I usually do three sets with the bar, uh, 15 reps, a triple with 45s. Here is my uh, workout for today, five uh, sets of doubles with 255 pounds. After the plate for threes, I do 155 for a double, and then everything is singles after that. So 185 single, 205 signal, signal, signal. Uh, but today I decided to do 215 in order to jump to 255 right after that. So depending on what your working weight is, it will be what your uh, warm-ups will be so that was 215 pounds that was 235 pounds and then finally 255 pounds for my doubles and these felt very good um, um I, in the next clip i'll show you guys uh how i changed my grip a little bit so here we go oh. yeah me Okay, so if you've watched my past bench exercises, or my past uh, voiceovers for my workouts, I told you guys that I widened my grip from... Oh, can you start that over? What? Start it over. You would? At a bad angle. Can you mess it? I changed my grip from right here. So I've been benching around here with my pointer finger on the ring for about a year. So I moved it out by a finger. I actually tried this last year, and I tried to go way far out right here but it just didn't feel right just because it was like a, such a drastic change so I'm just slowly moving my grip out and I think competition bench is a little the ring will be a little further out so I can actually end up here in a couple of years so that's the that's the goal and right now I'm doing 255 for doubles okay so these are the joggers you guys want to hop on the store and get one of you one of them um, they'll they'll probably sell it fast. And depending on how well the reviews are for these joggers, uh, he will be making more. And I think he's gonna improve them, like make the drawstring metal and also like have zippers on the on the pocket. So they're pretty similar to alpha joggers if you guys have those. So let's go. So I had a really good time just film, just like vlogging in the gym this day. Uh, I was talking about my grip and later I talk about the stringer that I'm wearing for my accessory work and I just had a lot of fun uh, doing that different sort of, oh, here I go again. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the clip after this. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh shit, my bad. Jason sent me the stamp of the stringer. So I think we're going to print the A7 like right here and then have like a hexagon on the back and middle. So those are coming soon. We're like trying to like expand to different categories of fitness. If that makes sense. So yeah. And I'm also doing these just to work on my lockout because my lockout just sucks. And if you saw those two fifties, just the two fifties that I just did, the two fifty five benches, at least I slow down after I pop off the chest. So like I said just a moment ago, I was really excited to be doing like little vlogging things inside of the gym. I usually don't do that. I usually have only myself so I can only uh, prop the camera up wherever I see fit and uh, just do my workout. So it was nice talking to the camera inside of the gym for a change. But these are the sample stringers. I'm wearing them right now. Uh, some someone said they were tank tops, but uh, no, it is a stringer. The back is cut. Like I would not wear this to a restaurant or anything. So I don't know. I would wear a tank top to like BJ's if I was going to BJ's, but I would not wear a stringer to BJ's just because it's has an open back pretty much. So anyway, 
Um, these stringers are coming out soon. Uh, A7 Fitness, when they first came out, they had bar grip, as you guys well know by now. Uh, bar grip is primarily for the powerlifting crowd. Uh, this is just footage from BJ's. I'm going to voice over this right now, but it, it was primarily a powerlifting brand whenever we came out. But uh, Jason, the founder, wants to spread to different demographics, so like bodybuilders. That's why he's trying to make the stringers right now. So... It's a very smart business move, um, just reaching a bigger audience for A7, and I'm so excited to be a part of it, so blessed to be a part of it, and uh, right here, we're enjoying a meal at BJ's. I got the chicken, uh, I got what I always got, I got the chicken alfredo pasta, and we also got a mini pizookie for free. So if you guys sign up for their app, you guys can get a free Pazuki for free. So I did it last time. Julie did it this time. And it was an amazing, amazing meal. So I will see you guys in the next clip. And that will be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Okay, so I got the chicken alfredo with extra chicken, which is what I usually do. And I've got way more chicken than you did. You got the lemon thyme chicken. It looks so good. I'm gonna kill this because I'm like, I'm actually dying. I feel like, yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> we got a snickerdoodle pizookie. It's not a snickerdoodle, it's salted caramel. Salted caramel, sorry. <laughs> and we got it for free because we downloaded this app. And you get a free pizookie, mini pizookie.